Nice. I... Yeah, I'll put that in my locker. Uh, speaking of locker... What was the... Oh, back to Splatful. It was plus. Yeah. Let me try to figure out where that locker is. And then maybe I'll do real levels here. Listen up, it's going down. Hi. I need to figure out how to get this hat. I wanted to talk to you too. Oi, chum. Well, occurring themselves a little freshness. Of course, feeling fresh and dressing fresh are two different things. If you want to rule this town, your gear's gotta look the part. For instance, ever seen someone walk by and been like, whoa, what gear is that? Sure you have, chum. Well, next time you're scoping someone out. Okay, I mean, I know. I'll order it for you. Might not be able to order you one with the exact same abilities, but I'll do my best. Here's my number, chum. Ever gotten your gear scrubbed before? Scrubbing gear wipes out all of its secondary abilities at once, leaving that as clean new. End up with... Okay, so basically, we roll the loadout. Bunch of ability chunks. These are all yours. You don't need them. Let's get enough ability chunks, mash them together, and you can make whatever abilities you like. Trust me, chum. Won't be the only one with scrubbed up gear out here. There. And you should see some of the fresh gear folks are coming up with. Wow. Anyway, got any gear you want scrubbed? You got a cash? Okay. I'm not going to right now, but that's good. Add abilities, splat net, uh, we roll slots. Never mind, maybe this is different. Shut up, chump. I haven't ordered anything yet. Calm down. That's a cool picture. I like the picture because it's cool. Stay cute and splat fools. Is that Squid Girl? Might not be Squid Girl. I'm going in here. Hello. Hey kid, you look like you've got potential. I think you could help shape the future of the Splatlands. I'm Mr. Grizz. Yes, Grizzco is my company. That's my name on the door and everything else. But I'm here to show you how Grizzco is different. See from the top level, that's me to fresh young talent like you. We're committed to making the world a better place. So allow me to officially welcome you to the crew. It's good, honest work with an honest paycheck. I just know you'll fit in right in. Now that you're on board, let's make sure, uh, sure your training is up to date. Can we get started now? I'm ready. That's what I like to see. You're a go-getter, just like a young me. Now then, I'll just check your records. Everything is in order and the helicopter is ready. Are you ready to hop in? Time is money and money is helicopter, so let's go. Is this the uh, horde mode? Was it Salmon Run? He's also a, a bear, so that makes sense. Yeah, Salmon Run. I'm going in. I'm sure I can let my team down here, too. Oh, my little lifesaver. Lesson one on the job basics. All right, rookie, listen up. Vicious, unfeeling Salmoids will appear from the water. Your job is to splat them with ink and make them drop their power eggs. As a Grisco industry employee, you are contractually obligated to collect as many power eggs as possible. If I don't wanna... Don't tell me where they are. We can come in here with like our own loadout, right? Wait, that's my friend though! I got like a baby one of those. I got some power eggs for splatting the salmon net. I'm counting on you to collect as many of those as you can. Back to work! Go harvest some eggs. Alright, he makes his own slime trail. Which is actually good, because that would be an easy way. Oh, big boy in camp, in town. Big man on campus. Hmm, not too bad, kid. You have middle management written all over you. Yeah. The most important part of your job is to harvest golden eggs. Only boss salmonoids have them. Boss salmonoid. Oh, Lord, salmon. Alright, on cube. Boss salmonoid just appeared. Go hunt it down. Is that it over there? No, that's a neon sign. That's... I don't know why I saw that. I thought it was like an outline. Where's the boss at? I feel like this area is not that big. 
He's beautiful. And easy to kill. Hmm, yes, boss salmon dropped its perfect golden eggs. Touch one to pick it up. Guzco is a result-based organization. If you don't hit golden egg quota, you drown, you're finished. Okay, grab one of those golden eggs. Oh, we pick it up with the thing. Already got one. You were quick and clean. The gifted go get it. The golden egg should be taken straight to the egg basket. Can I? Yep, okay. That's one egg down. Your quota is three, so you need to get two more. Just head back and grab the other two. Huh? Nani? That filthy salmonid is stealing golden eggs. Looks like they came flying out of the ocean. I'm just gonna let him go. Alright, goodbye. That slimy thief just stole my eggs. Next time that happens, splat it before it gets back to the water. Here, go find me some more golden eggs. Alright, I'm in the seams this way. Thank you. Huh? It sounds like one of your coworkers is calling you. Go see what they want. Oh, it's a real player! It's not an NPC, huh? Another sweet little egg communicating with your co-workers in the central part of egg collecting. Help! Looks like another one of your co-workers is down. Spray him with ink to revive him. That's good. Always help your co-workers when they're in need. If your entire crew gets taken out, you're finished. Rally your co-workers or ask them for help. This way, booyah. I'll take the golden egg. Alright, seems fun enough. I like co-op work. I like letting my friends down. Plus the two golden eggs, just one more to fulfill the quota. You're always on the clock, so you have to hit your quota before time runs out, or else you have to do overtime, over and over again. Let's find one more golden egg, and then I'll let you clock out. Yeah, I like playing video games and to make me think about work. Very cool. Your long walk from the egg basket, carrying golden eggs all the way can eat up time. Sad, press A to use some ink to throw your golden egg. Convenient, right? We'll be low on ink afterwards, so think carefully about when and where you use it. Oops. Kinda seems convenient just because you can throw it closer to the area. And, like, presumably you'd have a path to the basket. You met your quota, good work. Now just stay alive until the end of your shift, or if you want a bonus, you can collect even more gold eggs and surpass your quota. To stay alive for a minute, I do like surpassing quotas, says no one ever. Probably should have actually. Oh, and you've also arranged for two uses of your special ability while you work. Try not to waste them. So I can only do it twice. That's my little juice pack. It's like my um, MR. MR. Rash rations. Is that what, what? I might be wrong about the term in MR. MRA. Ah, Lord. Bonus. What's the point of collecting the other power eggs, though? Time to get back to the chopper. That's a reference to the hit movie Prey. Welcome back. I've got a fuzzy feeling you're going to be a great addition to the team, Grisco. But first, there's another round of training I'd like you to do. It's just a silly requirement after. I won't bore you with the details. We just don't want you to get hurt. So we're going to teach you how to deal with all the many types of boss salmonids, including the new ones they've been finding in the Splatlands. The new ones they've added into Game 3. But honestly, if you just read the manual, we'll see. Oh, sounds like the next helicopter's about to happen. Alright. 
Yeah, let's just do this. I do want to play a, a round of like a real game. But are different maps? It says Sockeye Station. Listen to the not basics. There are lots of different kinds of boss summons out there. Eleven can learn a boss summon if you want. Just tell me which one you'd like to practice on. Do I have to? They all look very strange. That one looks scary. They all actually seem kind of scary. This overgrown appetizer has armor all over its giant slimy body. It also lobs giant smelly bombs. Shoot the bombs on its head as it expands to pop it early and cook the steel head to some juices. There he is. Okay, well that was straightforward. Fly fish. Mosquito flies through the air in an ink-powered aircraft, launching missile barrages. Toss a bomb into both of its missile launchers to take it down from inside out. I guess it's important that I do this because they are taken down in a very specific way. Cool. I have to uh, wait till I'm allowed. Absolutely need to get more ink. Seems straightforward enough. Do you have to uh, come here with bombs? You can't have like a special type of secondary weapon. Lily-livered coward covers its frail body in shields, cookware and putter, putters forward, making it a tough enemy to take out. Get behind it, distract their attack it until it's done. I don't think we have much of a distraction method. Like, uh, these don't seem too difficult as boss enemies. At least the ones that we're facing right now. And just very, like, special enemy types, and of course they're the important things. Zealiel! Actually vehicle pilot by a tiny Samana. Don't let it touch you or it's lights out. Flammy pilot is sitting in its tail end. Sneak behind it to take it out. I mean, I can see this also being difficult when other stuff is happening. Oh, interesting. Oh, Lord! It's coming right at me. Gotta be a little bit more careful about that one. Seems like, I guess my main thing is it seems like you can kill them pretty easily. I guess that's when teamwork happens. Stinger. Just on top of a tower, taking dirty pot shots at you from the shoreline. Attack the stack of dirty cooking pots to cut this baddie down to size. Just it seems kind of like a continue shooting type of enemy. The biggest problem is that he is tall enough to snipe you from anywhere, it looks like. But as soon as you get some of the pots down, you, you should be fine. Maws. Matthew that follows its prey while submerged in ink, then suddenly leaps out and swallows them whole. One strategy for taking down Maws is to place a bomb on the spot it'll appear and chew on that inside of you. That a little too late, but it worked out. Okay, so we can see it's like lamp pose, and then obviously it shows the reticle when it's ready to chomp. Skelly's Guz Nuzzler? I can't, I don't think you can say that. Fires torpedoes that creates clouds that rain ink. When it's under its umbrella, your attacks can't hurt it. Take your shot when the drizzler peeks out from under the umbrella. 
hit rockets to knock it back at him, which probably would stun him or something. difficulties here. I see. Just when he shoots the rocket is when I can just attack him. That makes things a bit easier than what I was trying to do. I have no idea which one of these are actually new. Also, uh, it's Kui Salmon's plant and pulling the ground and flying circles around the top and sprays things all over. Climb up there and splat them all. The pillar will stick around once they're gone, so put it to good use. It'll never go away. That seems like that's mainly a problem of like just completely removing a location from being like usable. Oops, did not want to toss it. I guess like a lot of these bosses are just gonna be more difficult for the sake of having to catch up to them. A dolphin flipper flapper, flipper flopper. This one throws out an ink ring, then dives into it. Do not get caught inside the ring, or well, we'll see. Cover the ring in your own ink before it can dive. That will leave it flopping out in the open. Splat it! Oh, that's interesting. Okay, we don't have to like completely cover it. We just have to do enough to... To make it decide you've done enough. That one seems easy. I feel like a dolphin seems kind of like it would be a new one. Uh, the crafted cannoneer sets up a big shot launcher on the shore and fires cannonballs brought in from the sea. Just jump over the shockwaves from the cannonballs. I'm great at doing that. Crawling a golden egg and you're near a big shot launcher, try pressing A, that'll launch the egg towards the egg basket. Okay. Or I could just get rid of the guy. I like how he just failed. The shockwave doesn't last forever. Like he just was like, ah, I'm done, I'm gonna go take a nap, I'm going back in the ocean. Okay, we have one more. A UFO? Slam and lit. These ones ride on a flying machine that makes force fields, walk under it, and it'll try to squish you. But if it tries to squish you and you dodge, you can climb on top of it and take out the pilot. Oh, we can just stay on top of it too. Alright, well I've learned... For the most part they all seem manageable enough. Nice work. I've done it! I probably didn't have to actually do all of them, but again, working with, like, real players, I kind of want to make sure I am as aware as I can be. I don't want to make mistakes. Congrats, kids, and welcome to the Grizz Gook family. Trust me when I say the job is a dream come true, as long as your dream is risking life and limb to collect golden eggs for your boss. 
But we won't be doing it alone. From here on out, we'll be teaming up with co-workers, which means more lives and a lot more limbs to risk. Oh, one last thing. When you're out there, remember that every wave is going to be different, just like the sea. And there's no training for the sea. The sea is always changing. Every single wave brings something new. And you'll have to change with it. We all will, if we want to succeed. That's the most important thing of all. Damn, life lessons from this bear radio. Hmm, sorry, my mind started wandering for a bit there. But my point still stands. The next time you're out there, it'll be the real deal, and you never know what the sea will throw at you. Good luck! Whenever you want to take a shift, just let me know. There's always plenty of work to go around. Uh, let me look around first. Is this my locker? Like, just visual gear. I guess I can redo the tutorial if I wanted to. Which I figured would be a thing. I gotta get it to the basket! There's not enough time! It's good to note that you can throw it. Go! But I, have, I have to hold it before it decides to... Otherwise the umbrella is basically a shotgun blast. Seems alright. So are these like the only options you can have in... Salmon Run? Is that like how it works? I think for now, I'll just stick with the pistol. That's not anything. Alright, well, time to disappoint people again. Rewards! <gasps> Gotta collect things. I like my orange slop shoot. Shoot. Slop. Suit. Stickers! All those seems like basic bonuses. Is this all I get for doing these, or is this just a, something else? Oh, okay. That, so yeah, that's how you get the... Green Brim Cap. I guess it just keeps going up and you get more things? Alright, well, let's try our best. Sure I can handle it. I'm basically a god at Splatoon, and I've only played one game. Never before touched Splatoon. God gamer at Splatoon now. I was gonna say, is no one playing this? <laughs> no one wants to play Salmon Run? Well, there, there's the uh, new arena. By new, I just mean the a different one than what I saw. It's a big hot dog. Got the egg, so they killed the boss. Just wanna, I guess, for now, fill out the map so it's easier for us to traverse. Boss alert! Do they always come from the beach? That's just a normal big guy. Ain't no boss. Well.
I didn't really uh, realize that there was a boss there and I almost got chomped, but I helped kill a boss. That's good. Kind of seems like it's uh, not a good idea to use your super like at all. Oh, this like wipes everything. Oh, and it just outright changes the weapon too. So I have to get good. And also watch out for the oh. Here. Yes, they do. I'm dead. Can it? All right, they can revive me for us. Yeah, I'm the one that dies in Salmon Run. In my defense. Kind of sucked that I got knocked back, but also I should have been aware that that was a possibility. Yeah, I'm good at the game. I thought I was uh, far enough away that I'd be able to handle that. That time I was a bit more aware. That, uh, the big problem I'm having with the uh, the masher or maw is that it uh, takes me a minute to register what exactly I'm facing. It's kind of chilling over here, actually. I saved you. Scaling doesn't seem too bad, because you don't really have to charge it for that long if you don't really need to, or if you don't have time to. You get out of that slime. Oh, I got hurt. There was a... Some kind of, like, bomb throwing guy, whatever he was. And that's if that was someone else. Let's see here, you harvested 30 golden eggs this time. Nice, that's a good haul. That's what I like to see. You've got a future here, kid. This is go in your performance record. We won't fire you today. We'll try to fire you next time. Got a little gotcha egg out of that. I'm good. 
Got a bonus for first clear of the day, too. Nice. Gotta fill that... The Donga egg. Egg, I don't know. Whatever the... Little, like, bar there. Alright, I wanted to find my locker. 